And then there were two. It is official. We have the two teams that will battle it out for the final game in the NCAA tournament. Two teams that are both looking for their first national championship. It is the St. Cloud State Huskies versus the UMass Minutemen. This game will, of course, take place on Saturday night in Pittsburgh. And I'm lucky enough to be attending this game in person and am super excited for it. So first, let's take a look at how these Frozen Four games went. And boy, were they close, like many thought they would be. In the opening game between St. Cloud and Minnesota State, the Huskies looked like the better team in the first half of the game, jumping out to a 3-1 lead in the second period. But the Mavericks were not going to go down without a fight like they had done all tournament and came back to tie it at 3-3 going into the third. The intensity definitely seemed to ramp up during the third period with each team trading blows. The Mavericks would get their first lead of the game a few minutes into the period, but St. Cloud would tie it up midway through the third at 4-4. The game looked like it was bound to go to overtime, but the Huskies had other plans and would get a beautiful tip from Nolan Walker to take the lead with just 53 seconds left in the game. An absolute heartbreaker for Mankato. But man was that game a thriller and it really could have gone either way. The Mavericks had a lot of chances to take the lead and couldn't and of course the Huskies came up clutch in the last minute of regulation. And for the primetime game, the rematch of the 2019 National Championship as UMass gets revenge over the UMD Bulldogs and spoils their chance of a three-peat which hasn't happened in college hockey since the 1950s when Michigan did it. This game had plenty of excitement as well and certainly also could have gone either way. The big storyline going in though was that UMass was playing without their top goalie, Philip Lindbergh, who led the NCAA in save percentage going into it, and Carson Gusevich, the team's top goal scorer. Both of these guys were out due to positive tests and protocol. But the Minutemen did not let that stop them or hold them back in this one, jumping out to a 1-0 lead late in the first. The Bulldogs would tie it up before the end of the period to get the game back to even. And Duluth would also get the next one as Cole Kepke added another tally in the tourney midway through the second. In the third period, UMass would eventually tie it up with a goal from Anthony Del Gaizo, almost halfway into the third. And the teams would continue to trade chances in the final period of regulation. But the 2-2 contest would have to be settled in overtime. In the overtime period, the Minutemen looked really fresh right out of the gate and had way more chances to score than the Bulldogs. And UMass would get rewarded because of this with a goal from Garrett Waite and advance to their second straight national title game. I would love to hear what you guys thought of the games down below in the comments. Definitely lived up to the hype in terms of excitement and how close they were, in my opinion. So now we have the championship game on Saturday between St. Cloud State and UMass, where both of these teams should be amped up looking for their first national title. It will be interesting to see if UMass is able to get Lindbergh and Gusevich back for this game. They were saying on the broadcast that it is a possibility. But no matter what, it will be a game with a great goaltending matchup. Lots of talented players on both teams, and we will see who wants it more. UMass appears to be the slight favorite right now, but the Huskies have played the underdog role so well all throughout the tournament, and I could very well see them finishing the job they started in Saturday's game. Please let me know in the comments who you think is taking this national championship trophy, and please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed. We will see you in the next one.